Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I want to do a Taurus love prediction reading for January 24th through January 30th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. Please know the energy can go either way if this is your story. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space energy as well. Also, if you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my stubborn, loving, kind, sweet, sensual Tarsus. Show me what's going on with my Taurus spirit, guys. Show me what's going on with my Taurus. Let's see, Taurus, what you got going on. Let's see. King of Cups, Justice, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Ooh, and Two of Cups. Look at you, Taurus. I will say that these readings have been about people falling in love and staying in love and moving to the next level. Whoever this King of Cups is at the beginning of your reading, you're not quite sure. You can't read them. I, I just feel like you can't read them. The King of Cups is an emotional energy, um, but it's a very controlled energy. You kind of don't know where you stand with them. And that's what's happening with you with this situation. This King of Cups person you really, really love and adore. You also see them possibly as a marriage opportunity, but you don't know because you don't know. You know you have a good time with them. You know when you guys get together, it's on and popping. But you're not quite sure what they're thinking. You see how cool this person is? I love these cards. These are my new cards. But see how cool this person, this King of Cups is. See, he got his hand in his pocket. He's got his, his shallot on his on his uh, leg. You know, he's just a cool dude. But he's a cool dude that everybody wants to be with. They want to be with him because they can't read him. He's a mystery to you. And that's what turns you on, Taurus. This person is a mystery to you. Um, the thing is, is also, I do believe that you see possibly a marriage opportunity with them, but you're not quite sure if he looks at you the same way. But this person, I do believe, um, gives you what you need um, as far as mentally, spiritually, a whole nine yards intimately, um, but you're not quite sure. He kind of keeps you, he, he's a little guarded too sometimes, but he kind of... He's good for you though, because you can't read him. He kind of and you and you're very patient, so he kind of keeps you there a little bit, kind of keeps you there. But you know it's all good because, like I said, justice also could be a Libra person as well. But the justice person, um, of the justice energy also um is an energy of balance, and you're trying to get your balance with him. But it also I do believe you see them as a possible opportunity for marriage. So let's see here with the nine of cups. It's a wish fulfilled for you. Now, the Nine of Cups sometimes can be um, just an existing cup. It is just an existing, excuse me, energy. It just is what it is. But that Nine of Cups in this reading is a wish fulfilled. This person fulfills your wishes. They check your boxes. And you know that if you guys get together and stay together, you'll be winning because that Six of Wands is there. And that Six of Wands is all about victory. And guess what's at the end of this reading? Now, I don't know what's happening here because I'm a little confused if there's going to be marriage. We're going to see. We're going to keep reading just to see. But you have um, the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is all about unity um, with the person. It's about having the same mindset, the same morals. It's about having public displays of affection. It's about a very um, together vibe that you have with someone. Um, someone that you adore, that you do love. But, like I said, we're going to keep reading because I need to see if this King of Cups, whoever this King of Cups is, if they're going to um, move to the next level with you. You know what you want, but I'm not quite sure that they know or they're holding back and not letting you know where their mind is or where their energy is when it comes to you. But you know, and sometimes you just have to be patient. And I think you're. this is the person that's good for you because you know how to be patient. You know how to be patient, Taurus. So, um, if this is your read, sit back, relax, and let me clarify the cards for you. Let me clarify the cards for you to see what's going on with this King of Cups that's in your, your love energy. Why is this King of Cups here? Show me why the King of Cups is here. Show me why this cool dude, this King of Cups is here. 
Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. I told you they cheat checks every box that you have. He rings your bell. He knows how to do what he... He's just a cool dude. And he just fits well with the way you think. You guys fit well. When you're together, you have a good time. When you're apart, you're thinking about each other. And I do believe that he's thinking about you too. Not 100%, but with this Ten of Pentacles over this King of Cups, he's thinking the same thing that you're thinking. Because Ten of Pentacles is all about completeness. You check his boxes, he, um, he checks your boxes, and you check his as well. Um, Ten of Pentacles, great money, great home, great kids. Ten of Pentacles is just a complete card. They just check, you check each other's boxes. So let's see why the Justice card is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Justice card here? Wow. Why is the Justice card here? Ah, Temperance. Temperance, I told you. Temperance is all about patience. It's patience. And I think you want to be married to him. But the cards are telling me that you've got to um, be patient. You've got to be patient with him. He doesn't move when you want to move. He takes his time. But if anybody can be with him, is another Taurus. So the Taurus can be patient. Temperance is all can be a Sagittarius person as well. But temperance is also always about being patient, being kind, being patient. Um, just taking your time. Just moving. Just taking your time. Let's see why this Nine of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Nine of Cups here for my Taurus? Show me why the Nine of Cups is here for my Taurus. Uh, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. Okay, um, Taurus, you got to be careful because this is your wish fulfilled. This is a wish fulfilled, but the uh, the Queen of Swords is a very much can be a a very direct energy. Queen of Swords tells you what they want, lets you know what they want. If you can't fulfill it, normally they'll walk. But with this Queen of Swords, I think that you guys relate that way to each other. Um, the Queen of Swords, you feel comfortable being direct with this person. You don't have to sugarcoat things. You can talk to them. You can let them know what you're thinking. Matter of fact, they sometimes already know what you're thinking. This is a person that you feel comfortable with talking to. And you can be direct with them. You don't have to, you know, uh, be careful what you say. Now you have to be careful how you say it, but you're not necessarily have to be careful what you say to this person because they understand. You have a very, very, um, um, free flow of uh, information between you guys. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Show me why the Six of Wands is here, Spirit Guys. Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands. You're ending up you're ending a whole now Ten of Wands can be an ending of burdens. And I do believe it's an ending of burdens because I believe you found someone. Ten of Swords means like I said, someone you can be direct with this person. You don't have this person you don't have to, you know, be afraid that you know somebody's up with you upset with you because you said something this person understands you like i said they understand you very well you feel like you're winning the ten of wands means you're releasing those burdens that you had before when it came to other people six of wands like i said over that ten of wands it means you're winning you're winning because you have released the burden you have released the burdens that you've had with the other relationships so let's see why the two of cups is here show me spirit guys why is the two of cups here show me why the two of cups is here show me spirit guys Look at that. Wow, these readings have been about people getting together. Look at that four wands. Yeah, they feel the exact same way about you. Yes, they do. They're, they're a little elusive. They don't let you know. They don't play their hand. They hold it close. But they feel the exact same way about you because you have this two of cups with this four of wands, which means engagement. It can also mean soulmate with these two... To um, 1111 right here can be soulmate, twin flame. But they feel exactly the same way about you that you feel about them. No questions asked. I mean, no doubts about it. That's why you see the Queen of Swords here. They feel also, Queen of Swords is direct. They feel exactly how you feel about them. Let's start at the very beginning, that King of Cups. King of Cups is a smooth dude. Look at that King of Cups. He's very, very smooth. Smooth. He holds his, um, he loves, but he loves, um, he controls his love. But the Ten of Pentacles, you feel like the Ten of Pentacles with him. And he feels like the Ten of Pentacles with you as well. Justice card, you're looking for a future with him. You see a possible marriage. You, you want to have a balance with him as well. 
too. Then the temperance card could be a Sagittarius person, but the temperance is all about patience. You got to be patient. Got to be patient with them, though. Then you have that Nine of Cups. That Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilled. Because with the Queen of Swords there, you're very direct. You can be direct with them. You don't have to, you know, beat around the bush with him. You can talk to him. He understands. He don't feel like you're hurting his feelings. Six of Wands, you're winning because you're releasing the burdens of the past relationship that you had. You're no longer a bag lady, as they say. You know, you're not carrying anything that way. As Erica Badu would say, you're no longer a bag lady. You releasing all of that to be with this person. Two of Cups means you think alike, love alike, have the same thoughts and process. Public displays of affection. And guess what? Four of Wands means there's an engagement. Two it could be a twin flame soulmate. Let's see what my um let's see what my queen my oracles have to say. Let's see. Oh wow. They say romance and connection. That's what you have with this person. Romance. They're romance with them because you have a good time with, and you have an incredible connection. Both intimately, spiritually, and all the way. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Taurus.